Hi, my name is Danny Simmons. I'm the curator of this show. I dreamed my people were calling but couldn't find my way home. It's a three-person show, Margaret Rose Vendres, Emo Nish Aime, and Saul Sachs. And we're here at Rush Arts Gallery in Chelsea. This show talks about what a perception of what your homeland would be. Seeing as that we're all here in America, our perceptions of what Africa is, is romanticized. And it's also colored by global politics and myths and, and things that we've been told about Africa and its past and its history. So in recreating Africa through our art, we really try to deal with some of those problems and try to deal with the negative images that Africa has had placed upon it. And we create really a new Africa in our minds, recreating a feeling of home and community and belonging through artists' understanding of what it means to be African and African-American in America. Margaret's work, that series is about recreating African-American female singers and marrying them to African mass. Each singer has a different identity through the mask they wear, just like they each have a different identity through the songs they sing. Emo Nish work is about wedding rituals in Nigeria and the preparation of brides to be married and it's sort of tribal ritual that he's exploring. And Saul Sachs marries Yoruba culture, which is also Nigerian, to American culture and largely in, in many ways hip-hop culture and finds the historical ties between what's going on in Africa and what's going on in popular culture here in the United States right now. I like the layers, the expression, the meshing of characters in some of the portraits and also just the blending of color. Sometimes there's the black that's mixed with some kind of a silhouette so I'm interested in seeing the silhouettes behind some of the other images. It brings up a whole bunch of emotions, specifically a sense of pride when you think about, you know, our, my people and where they come from and, and, you know, you're seeing a lot of beautiful images of them which you don't generally see in art and you don't see it in mainstream media. We've been enjoying picking out so little hidden things like the music notes and then finding the faces and the birds and there's Rubenesque figures. Just the depth and the, the character of the charcoal is really, really interesting. These totems are totally new to me, and I'm, I'm just amazed by them. They're absolutely brilliant. And they represent people, but they also represent music ritual. It's history. Everyone needs to know it. I think everyone can relate to it, whether it's theirs or someone that they know or someone else's. All of it ties back to Africa, and so that's what we're bringing out in all those kind of connections, where we believe Africa to be and mean to us over a long period of time.